So, it is pouring rain. We did not plan for this. I got my 790. Rusty's got the 690. And Mark's got the 450. It's gonna get wet. It's gonna get fun. So fun back, today's forecast was actually supposed to be about 29 degrees Celsius and nice and sunny. It is currently 10 degrees, raining, and I am freezing my ass off. Yeah. So we're stopping off for a bit of a break and to adjust our gear. And uh, I thought I'd take a minute to ask everybody about their steeds. So, Mark. Couple people have been asking, what's uh, what's going on with your bike? Like, what what is it? It's like a Frankenstein monster, man. It's a 450 turned into a 540. Ah. Turned into a barely running older bike. It's, yeah, because how old was this thing? 2006. 2006, yeah. Got an Achervis tank, big rally kit in the front end. You just redid your suspension too, I believe. Yep, a lot of yeah. And over here, we got Mr. Rusty Orr, and he has uh probably the best looking 690 i have ever seen so tell me about your steed there rusty it's the best looking 690 most people have seen ah it is it is <laughs> it's uh it's also probably the most expensive 690 you'll ever see i uh turned a 690 into a off-road travel bike i clicked buy it now on every part that made sense and uh bolted it on so, yeah. well, well it definitely looks pretty we're gonna get it nice and dirty today though Dirty is good, broken is bad. Aha! Well, regardless of the heavy rain, we're gonna try our best to get up there and see what it looks like. Uh, Rusty and Mark and we had a little bit of a meeting and uh, if it gets too much for any one of us, we're gonna call it because we were not forecasting this much rain. It wasn't even supposed to be a sprinkle today. But the thunder showers and the rain getting soaked, it's all part of the adventure, boys. All part of the adventure. Well, we ran into a thunderstorm on our way up. I think this is a sign, guys. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea anymore. July, July weather, Alberta. Well, um, it looks like uh, we had to call it. The pass was starting to hail, as you can see on the ground. We got a bunch of ice, rain, sleet. Mother Nature just had it in for us today. But we're gonna come back again. We are definitely gonna try this again because uh, yeah, adventure bikes. All right, we're back for round two exactly one week later. Hopefully it doesn't hail on the way up. I'm hopeful for the weather, but I live in Alberta and I've been proven wrong before. What do you guys think? I think we're good. Blue sky, round two. Round two. All right, we're gonna work our way up to Racehorse Pass. Looking a little drier today. All these uh, drainage spots that you're seeing were completely full and flowing last time we were here. That's how much rain we were dealing with. So rusty. Let's see what that 690 can do. So, Mark, Stop. what what did we learn? Always trust Chinese junk. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're working our way down the valley. This is, uh, if you remember the North Fork Pass video, this is actually very similar to the route, except we're going to go a little further south to cross the mountains. This was all mud, all water. I was slip sliding the whole way down with full luggage last time I was here. Man. What a difference a couple weeks of sun makes to a trail. You can see all the big runoff drains that were here. Last time we were here, these were all just full of mud and water. We're going in the poo hole. <laughs> Into the poo hole. Oh, there's still ice in the bottom. That's funny. Oh, that was a tree stump. 
tagged a root on my way by that big tree. Just like totally kicked the bike to the left, almost fell over. And a boy, buddy. Nice rocky descent here. Uh oh, another poo hole. Left side looks better. All these rocky trails. That's what adventure bike is all about, boys. All right, we just hit the trailhead into Racehorse. Now we're on our way up. But Check out that view. It kind of seems a shame to come blasting through here with your teeth grit the entire time and not actually stop and smell the bottom. It's a loose pack of shale here. It's kind of tough to keep traction in some spots. Getting into uh, what I've affectionately dubbed the rock garden. Obvious reasons. Mark's coming in the pool hole. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, man down. And Mark's out of the pool hole. Mark fell over in the pool hole. That's not good. Luckily, we didn't drown it, and we're back on our way again. And the unicorn is on its side. But we're gonna get her upright, we're gonna be good. The camera really doesn't do justice how steep this hill is. And it's nothing but like fist and head size rocks the whole way down. Get roll. And they're just rolling downhill while you try and get whatever traction you can. <laughs> Yay! He's got it, he's got it! Woo!
There's a full. Now we're just all kind of working our way down, having a relax. I don't think we're going to do dead man's on the way back, judging by group mor morale. We're all pretty well pooped, riding all this all day. We're, we're all pretty well tuckered out. But there's always tomorrow. Back on the road, and I think we're going to find near the cave road. We'll find a bar and a burger and a beer. Booyah!